Hello, hi, my name is Gracia. I'm gonna show you guys how to color correct your hair. Um, colored hair, that is, like fashion colors. I feel like the most common color that you want to get rid of would probably be green. Green has to be the hardest to take out, in my opinion. I feel like it really clings to hair. And I used to be one of these people that would refrain from dyeing my hair blue because it always tends to fade to that nasty green color. Even like teal, like a lot of those colors just fade to green typically. And that green color is such a freaking Oh, it's so hard to get out so and it's like a nasty green color that it ends up it's not even like a cute like neon green or anything so yeah I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that keep in mind that it's like trial and error and you might have to do some like test strips but basically um, you're gonna want to learn the color wheel and your hair if it's faded unevenly obviously if you dye it it might end up uneven like my hair right here is a couple different colors but yeah so if you want to know how i do this and this can work for every single color like i said you might have to try it out or do it more than once but yeah i don't know i feel like once i show you guys what i do you'll be like mm. so just go ahead and keep watching if you want to learn how to do that Okay, hi. Sorry, I know I look gross. I don't care. I'm gonna fix my hair today. So the first thing you wanna do is put your hair down, brush it, part it. You're gonna wanna use gloves because if not, your hands are gonna turn the color of your dye. And if you have like nail polish on, it tends to like stain that. And then a brush. Some people don't use brushes, you just work it in with the gloves, but I find it easiest to use a brush and I feel like I like use less dye when I put it on with a brush or I distribute it more evenly. And I have already mixed my dye here. So in order to know what color to make your dye, you're gonna wanna look at a color wheel and you try to match the darkness to the opposite color. Okay, so I feel like I didn't explain myself right. First, you wanna identify the color that you're trying to tone out of your hair, and you wanna make your dye the complementary color. Or if you look at an analogous color wheel, it's gonna be the color directly across from the color that you're trying to tone out. And you wanna match the darkness of the dye you're making to the darkness that your hair is currently at, or make it a little bit lighter. So, my hair is a pretty bright. Actually, it doesn't look that green but it's like a blue green right now and i prefer it to look more like the color of my nails or like the periwinkle purple side of like a baby blue so i got my dye here i prefer to mix dyes in like a ziploc container like a tupperware because here's the thing it's easiest to mix a lot of dye even if it's more than what you think you're gonna use than to end up having to mix more because the chances of you getting the same exact color unless you measure everything out, the chances are slim. So it's really easy for your hair to be like multi-toned, which if you don't mind that, you can go ahead and mix it separately. But I find it easiest to mix more than I'm gonna use and put it in a Tupperware. So yeah, that's what I do. And I pre-mixed this a while ago, but you know, I'm a mom, so it's hard for me to have time to do these things. How to mix it, it's simple. It's easiest to put a bunch of conditioner in a Tupperware and to slowly add the color you're gonna be adding and like mix it, look at the color, see if you need more. You can do a color strand, what is it, test strand, if you would like to, but I'm at the point where like, if this is darker than I need it to be, it's gonna turn purple. Um, if it's lighter, you might have to do it more than once. So it's up to you what you want to do. Um, it depends on the color. This literally works with every color. It's literally color correction. It's like art theory, color theory, whatever. It does look a little bit dark. I did mix this like one or two weeks ago. So my hair has been washed and since so it's a little bit lighter than it was when I first was gonna do it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna mix a little bit more of conditioner in that. I use the cheapest like conditioner 
that I can find. This is like not even, this is less than two dollars. And I literally strictly just use this for mixing. I use a better conditioner when I wash my hair every day, so don't judge me. Um, but I find that the thicker your conditioner is when it comes to mixing, the harder it is to mix it evenly. So yeah, I literally just have a bottle on hand always just for mixing dyes. And yeah, that's it. Let's, let's do the thing. So side note, we're here. That's not like a pimple or anything. Like, and let me know if this happens to you. I get like really dry, dry, like rough patches of skin sometimes. And they get like super itchy. Because I mean, even if I don't scratch at it, I always, it's always near my mouth too. I open my mouth to like eat something and pff, I looked wrong. And it like cracks, you know, so. I don't know if it's eczema because I have suffered with like mild, mild eczema before, but or like if it's like an allergic or a bad reaction to some skincare or something. But let me know if that ever happens to you because it's really fucking annoying. That's just conditioner dried up. It's bleach. I don't bleach my own hair. I don't trust myself to do that anymore. If your dye is like still enough your hands won't turn or won't be stained that color but I did just paint my nails and I don't want them to turn purple I don't know. I want them blue you can literally see it changing Oh, another way you can control your fading is using like purple shampoo, obviously depending on the color. It would help in my case, I do use purple shampoo, but it's not as instantly rewarding as doing this. might have diluted it a little bit too much because I still see some parts that are green but like I said if that happens you can just do it one more time and just to set your expectations your hair can turn like more of like a muted dull or like pastel color that's the goal here for me if that's not your goal you're gonna want to be careful and do test stra straps, <laughs> test strips, just to see what color your hair is gonna end up. But ignore that. <laughs> just one big mess on my life. Even if this doesn't make my hair exactly like the color I want it, like periwinkle or whatever, it's still gonna be less green than it was before. So. And you can leave this on as long as you want. Um, it's not gonna damage your hair. It literally is just like a stain. If your hair is blue like mine, if you're trying to avoid any yellow or green, um, you can go ahead and use purple shampoo. That's what I'm gonna do. And that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys when my hair is done. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, I left it in my hair. I literally watched like an episode of Iron Fist and then I washed it out. You can leave it in for like five minutes, 10 minutes. 
a whole day i usually wash it out with like as cold of water as i could stand in the shower just so it doesn't like wash it all out if i hadn't been using purple shampoo my hair probably would have been more green than it was because my hair wasn't really like green green to begin with it was more like blue green and now it is kind of like a periwinkle kind of it's still kind of green at the bottom but it does have more purple tints which i prefer um but yeah i want to go more to like a cool tone um blonde so i'm trying to keep my hair blue while it fades to that because i really like baby blue hair but yeah my hair was initially like a darker blue so yeah this is how i control my fading pretty much and keep it the color that i want um you can do this with pretty much any color like i said just look at the color wheel and then boop, just put on the opposite shade and you should be good like be careful because you can make your hair muddy so you want to test it out you know um since my hair is pretty much faded it's like a gray or silver in some areas i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys an example a couple weeks ago my hair was a blue green but it was a little bit darker than it was when i first started this video so it turned more of like a purplish blue so i'll insert pictures of that and yeah hopefully this works for you let me know in the comments what color you fixed if it worked for you if your hair turned muddy like just let me know just let me know what happened down there so we can like all learn from each other's mistakes and stuff because i know having your hair fade out can be a bitch to wait for and it is damaging if you strip your hair color and it can be really annoying to hate the color your hair is and it's already bleached and you have to strip it so it gets really nasty and like dry and damaged and yeah it's just annoying so this is a way to kind of fix that without dyeing your hair darker like if you like pastel colors this is gonna be perfect for you um but yeah i don't really know what else to say i think i said it all um so yeah hopefully you like this video um sorry that the lighting was weird in the bathroom i was filming it there was no windows and no natural lighting so it was all artificial light so it looked really weird i think um but yeah that's that's it pretty much so i guess i'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> whenever that might be click subscribe but don't expect anything i'll see you guys later bye